Okay, here we have a young Quaker. Actually, not quite so young. <laughs> With an old injured wing, as you can see there. Um, and if you get a, she'll sit still, you'll get a chance to see. She has a large lipoma on her chest. At one point in time, there was a mass there that had actually gotten kind of necrotic. It was a fatty mass. Um, it's a fatty necrosis. Uh, we removed it. The sad news is, since then, the lipoma has gotten bigger, the, the area around that uh, the fatty necrosis. And you can see how it's kind of bulging out, you know, right about there. You can see where it's bulging. Anyway, um, since you don't fly too well, so you can try to break your wing, she did just jump off the... Uh, off the desk here for a second and landed and I'm wondering because the same spot that she's uh, been chewing on is about the same spot she just landed on yeah. okay so I'm wondering if that might be one of the reasons she's been chewing in that area also when she came in her beak was a good three quarters inch longer than it was and very 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 sharp and we've actually gone ahead and uh, and made that less of a of a problem um we're a little stressed out now since we picked her back up uh, her fecal is negative um, but anyway, she's got some problems. She's gonna go ahead and send her some antibiotics just in case to prevent any uh, any secondary infections that if any necrosis. That's what we're gonna see happening again, and we'll uh, recheck check her in about a week or a phone call up and know she's doing fine. Okay. okay. Uh, I didn't know if you was talking to me or your camera. But... Actually, both. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had questions, you can ask. No, I was just saying. Take whatever picture you want, put it on the internet, and it'll help you practice out fine. Cool. Are the, are the best students and veterinarians can watch this and learn as well? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. That's it for now.